Hello everyone, Mika is here. This is my first video and I'll tell you a few good tweaks for your new iOS 6 jailbroken device. You can jailbreak your device through evasion. You can google evasion and found it. It's no problem. Before we get started, notice for you that all names and titles for applications and tweaks that I'm about to tell you will be in the description of this video. This video is just for educational and informative purposes and does not contain any advertisement of copyrighted material. Let's start. Very useful tweak for your new iOS 6 jailbroken device is NC settings. Similar to SB settings, it has core functions when you open your notification center from here above. Here it has shortcuts to your Wi-Fi, 3G, your volume, your flashlight, the vibration, the Bluetooth, everything that really your iPhone needs. It's very good shortcut, it's available for free inside here. As you can see, uh, it's kind of different here, background. I'm using blurred background function here, blurred NC background. It changes the opacity and I think it's very... You can get bored of the gray, boring background here. You can use this one also for free in this idea. Um, kill background function. Kill background, what it does, it kills the open multitasking, for example, here applications. I would otherwise push this one and push this every single one to a close one. Otherwise, I just put this one, the button here, and it just closes everything, except those apps you want to be there. You can customize it in the settings. You go here, you go kill background, and you can kill music and filter some apps, those you want to remain with that button on. Very useful thing. Activator, those you don't know, this is very good application. It just changes uh, some function of your button. Volume button, home button, you can activate that home button, for example, and set it to different function, as you like. You can do it whatever you want. Activator, but be careful, because you can change a lot of things, so you don't know how to do it. But you can read it, it's very simple to understand. It's also free, inside here. Octopus keyboard. Octopus keyboard here is those who like to text a lot, for example texting like now. Uh, I'm going to show you a very good shortcut, for example here. I'm going to write, are you coming tomorrow? As you can see, there is already suggestions above the, above the keyboard. Those the words I use most recent, or most, I don't know, most common words. When I'm trying to put R, R it already says R there. I don't really to type R, I just swipe it up like this and it puts there. Are you already up above Y icon? So it's just are you coming? It's just swiping up. It's very simple. It suggests you and you can always just use it like that, swiping up. Coming to more see tomorrow above O. You don't hold it because if you hold it ask for this once, you swipe up very quickly. This is paid application but I'm using trial version and it's just a, you can use less words for trial version. For the next we have screen extender. This application useful for those who using iPhone 4 apps on your iPhone 5 because some apps are really cropped. You can enter the app and it's small. Sometimes this happens when they, the developers do not upgrade or update the applications, they remain small. What it does, it just extends the application. For example, I'm using iDownloader now on that function, and now it's full size. It's very useful. If you find like application like that, it will extend it to the maximum version. And next one is actually a fun one. As you can see, here there is no label or any name of my carrier, the operator. This is just a, a customizing thing, it's called Zeppelin, free to download. You can call the theme and you can change the icon of your career, like Beats or Dark Knight, you can see here, it turns to Dark Knight, it's really interesting, just funny thing to use if you want to, but I just put none, or it's just clean here. So that's it really, that's all I wanted to tell you today and I will be exploring more applications and more tweaks for Cydia and I'll posting a new video maybe next week. So keep updated, that's it for today.
see you later.